we did talk a lot about different varieties and mutations in budgies. However, there is one subject we haven't touched that it's common for all mutations and it is the color mutation. Which means, let's say, single factor spangle budgie can be any of the color mutations, light green, dark green, olive, sky blue, cobalt, and mauve. We did talk about what is the difference between color mutation and variety mutation in this video. If you want to understand it more, you can go watch that video and then come back for this video. I'll keep a link in the description below. And we also talked a lot about colors in the documentary, which I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and watch the documentary after this video. But when it comes to colors, there are many mutations. However, in this video, we will concentrate on the dark factor gene. How a single variety can have six different outcomes only because of one gene, which is the dark gene. So, let's see, how does this gene act on budgies that can give each color three different mutations? In the wild, all budgies have the same color mutation and same variety mutation. The variety mutation is called normal, as it is the common one in the wild. And we did discuss it in this video, I'll keep a link in the description. And also, they all have the same color mutation, which is the light green. With that being said, our pet budgies have developed so many green and blue mutations due to a single gene, and it is the dark gene. This gene acts as semi-dominant, which means the more of this gene is present in your budgie, the darker your bird will be. Let's start with a simple green budgie, the one you can find in the wild. This bird has no dark factor at all, and since we know the dark is dominant, that means he has a D D gene. If you remember, the small d means the recessive form of a gene, and the capital D is the dominant form. Now, if one of the dark factor gene is present, then your budgie will be dark green. And in the genetical term, it is D D, with one being capital and the other is small. Here you can see the difference between light and dark green budgie. And finally, if your budgie has double dark factor, it will become olive. It is very dark green that we call it olive. Now when it comes to blue, the sky blue is the budgie that has no dark factor at all. When one of the dark genes is present, it becomes cobalt. Look at the difference between sky blue and cobalt blue. And finally, if both dark genes are present, then it becomes mauve. Of course, there are some mutations that block this gene from expressing itself, like the inogene, where your budgie is either yellow, white, or yellow and white, but nothing more. I'll keep a link in the description for the inogene video. It's pretty interesting video, because the inogene actually suppresses or blocks, prohibits the melanin from working, and that's why the dark gene cannot express itself. You can go and watch that video after this one. However, for the most part, all mutations can have either one of these six colors. Of course, there are more color mutations like gray and violet, which we will discuss them in a later video. But for now, let's see the Punnett square of this gene, so we can better understand how it works. One table will have all the green mutations, and the other one will have all the blue mutations. If you need to refresh your memory about what is Punnett square, I will keep a link in the description for the Punnett Square video in the description below, like always. In order to see all the mutations that come from the dark factor, I will show you on the left the outcome of two cobalt blue budgies, and on the right, the outcome of two dark green budgies. As you can see, when none of the dark factor is present, your budgie will be the lightest. In case of the blue, it will be sky blue. 
and in case of the green, it will be light green. When one of the dark gene is present, it will be a little darker, because as I said before, this gene is dominant, so in case of the blue, it will become cobalt, and in case of the green, it will become dark green. And finally, if both dark genes are present in your budgie, since this gene is semi-dominant, which means the more you add, the more it will express itself in the phenotype, that's when you get the darkest color, and in case of the blue, it will become mauve, and in case of the green, it will become olive. The best part about the dark factor mutation, that it is really easy to know what is your budgie's dark factor mutation, with just a simple look. You can directly see if it has one dark factor gene, two dark genes, or none at all. For example, this budgie has no dark gene present at all. Just by a simple look, I can see this budgie is light green. And by simply looking here, I can see this budgie has a single dark gene, because I can clearly see he is a dark green budgie. And in case of the blue, this one is sky blue, and if you compare it next to this one, this one is obviously a cobalt blue. And the same goes with olive or mauve. You can clearly differentiate between these mutations, and actually because they express themselves in the phenotype that well, you can directly tell what is the amount of dark gene your budgie has. Let's show you some real life examples. Kiwi and Birdie are both light green budgies, which means they don't have any dark factor to pass on to their offspring. And indeed, you can clearly see that all their children are light green or sky blue. On the other hand, sky ironically is cobalt blue. And Birdie, as we already know, is light green. According to the Punnett square, half their offspring should not have any dark factor and the other half should have single dark factor, which means either dark green or cobalt blue. And look at this clutch of three children, what a perfect example! One is light green, and one is dark green, and the third is lutino, which as mentioned before, it blocks the dark gene from expressing itself, and so we don't know if the lutino has a dark gene or not. And just to elaborate, if you breed two budgies having double factor dark genes, then all their offspring will be either olive or mauve. I hope this clears things up for you, and now you can understand better what is your budgie's color mutation. For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up.